Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Where are we? What are we doing? Look at this new place. We've got some a very little, little in our inventory. And wow, look at that. That doesn't look like vanilla. And some of this stuff doesn't look, uh, doesn't look like vanilla or standard modded of anything else I've been doing. Let's get away from that skeleton. So I'm going to come over here. This is a brand new world. It is modded Minecraft. We're playing on the FTB Revelation mod pack with Hypermind Peeps. This is the Hypermind modded server. And here we go. I'm starting the standard stuff you do in any new world. Punching wood, getting some logs, and then we'll, we'll get some of the initial stuff uh, taken care of here. So if you're wondering about the commentary and, and how it's all going, I'm doing this after the fact because, like a derp, when I started recording this, I didn't have my microphone on. I thought my microphone was on, but I, I didn't have it on. So, oh well, you win some, you lose some, and I lost that one. But I didn't want to throw away this footage because it's the beginning and you only have one beginning on a map. There's no way to go back through and fake that unless you talk to your server admins and get rid of all your achievements. Anyway, it's a, it's a hassle. So I wanted to still bring you the initial gameplay. And so we're going to talk through it. So here we go, getting the cobblestone, got the achievement. And, and um, let me just explain a few things about this map and this series in particular. Here we go. Um, we are not going to be building at spawn. If you remember from Hyper Antics, we, everybody built at spawn, everybody. And we had tons of of high lag things at spawn and whenever you came to spawn it 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 was detrimental to frame rates and it was detrimental to the server lots of problems there so we've got a rule in place we are not going to be building at spawn we're not going to be building within 300 blocks of spawn we've got to go at least uh, 300 blocks and then no more than 3,000 blocks so we're going to try and keep the map size small um, and we'll see so I've got to find a place in between there what I'm going to do here is make it look like I have not been here. So we're going to cover over this hole, leave a nice little spawnable space for somebody to discover later. So, oh well. Hope hope it doesn't cause any problems. And, and I realize as I look back at this and watch it over that I've left a hole in the back. But uh, you can't see it from my house. So what does it matter? Let's make a boat that's going to cause me some trouble. You'll see this. It's something that I've seen in, I saw it in Direwolf 20, saw it in here, and... Uh, and yeah, I'm going to place this boat down. Let's see. No, no, we'll get some more, get some more logs. So why not? It's the beginning. So uh, I now have my mic going and, and that's a good thing. So what are we going to do? You just started a series. So you just started a modded Minecraft series in 1.12 and this is 1.12. You're right. I did. And that one's a little bit different. What we're going to be doing in that one is more of the tutorial style that you're used to from my channel. I put together, do a lot of work off camera, get together recipes, figure out project plans and all of that. And uh, and then we go from there. I show you the, the process along the way. Let's make a, a, a thing here for journey map so we can get back to spawn pretty easily if we ever get lost. So there we go. We're going to put down this boat and find that it... Um, it doesn't it doesn't work for us Boop. where'd it go it's not in the water it's not in my inventory where'd the boat go i don't know anyway we'll come back to it later you'll see uh so what are we going to be doing well i uh, in that one you you see the tutorial i put together all the recipes and and build whatever it is and and work with whatever machine or or do whatever on on that series and and you're used to that from my channel uh, the problem with that is that I don't get tons of time to record. Uh, very, very little time to record. A couple, couple times a week. And so if I'm waiting to for a recording time for a particular project that I've set up, well, uh, that means that things progress rather slowly. And so you may you may notice that on that type of series. And, and that's why. It's because I don't get tons of time to record. So often you'll see in those types of series, you'll see a lot of different projects that are kind of waiting in the wings and you're wondering what in the world's going on in the background. Here we go. We're going to, we're going to relog and see if that boat comes back. Cause I don't want to walk across the water there. Um, so in this one, this, this particular pack, it's a really big pack. It's one of the biggest that our FTB, the FTB team is saying it's the biggest one that they've ever released. It's over 140 mods in it very very intense on the computer 
it takes a long time to load and uh and if you crash the desktop which this has done a couple times um yeah it's it's kind of a pain anyway one of the mods in here is the advanced rocketry that's not in dire wolf 20 it's in this one and so uh what i want to do in this particular series is i want to cover things that i'm not covering in the dire wolf 20 pack so what you're not going to see what i'm not going to bring you along for is the tinker's beginning stuff i'm not going to bring you along for any immersive engineering because i'm doing that on dire wolf 20 i'm not doing bees in this one we're going to do quarries we're going to tear apart the earth we're going to find uh go over into the mining dimension and and tear that apart with quarries and stuff so uh that's how we're going to get our resources we're not going to go through all the forestry stuff um but uh but yeah so i'm i'm going to be pushing towards advanced rocketry and now because things because my recording schedule is going to prevent me from progressing as quickly as I would normally want to, we're going to change things up in this series. Instead of doing the tutorial style, I'm going to do updates. Okay, so I'm just going to get on here and play and do what I feel like doing when I feel like doing it. And I'm going to progress at a pace that's uh, probably quicker than you would see on video. And, and then whenever I come back in and whenever I bring you a video from here, uh, it is going to be uh, of just a, a, a recap type so i'm going to show you what i've done since the last time we were together maybe give a recap of what i did or what i showed last time where we were last time and then and then show you what's new so uh, there's somebody's mining mining area so we're going to be making a big push over to advanced rocketry i want to go to space and so that's going to require a lot of infrastructure a lot of power development a lot of mining a lot of resource gathering and, uh, and, and so I'm just going to do a lot of that off camera and I'm going to bring you in every so often and show you bits and pieces of, of what, what's been going on. And I'm not going to promise any particular, uh, any particular schedule. This will probably go along on the Friday slot and I'm, I'm going to interleave it with Hypermind Vanilla. So, uh, we'll get modded vanilla and so on. But, uh, for now, what I need to do is I need to go off in some direction here and we'll, we'll find a place to, to live that's not uh, that's greater than 300, but less than 3,000. But I'll bring you back once I've got a little bit more progress. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're over here at the base that I said I was going to find. We're in a jungle, and a mini jungle. Okay, and I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup here. Nothing major today. Again, I said I'm not going to be doing major projects so on camera with you instead i'm just going to be playing and i have been playing you can see we've got a little bit of a farm set up nothing automated yet but uh, what are you gonna do over here you can see i've got a parrot and he is thankfully reminding me that there are oh uh, somewhere around here there's a uh what's it what is that guy zombie word left me oh my goodness and a skeleton and a creeper yeah anyway very noisy I don't know that I really care to have parrots, but I've got them, and so there we go. We're stuck. Um, in here, we've got the tinkers set up already going. We've got full smeltery. You see that guy? I've just smelted some iron. There we go. Can we get rid of the beetroot? Yes. Okay. And and then we got some tools to show you, and, and over here. Uh, I've got tanks for, or a tank for lava, and we're using hardened fluid duct and just automatically putting all that lava in there. So so we can just fill up a huge tank, bring that in here, and, and there we go. So uh, kind of basics right here. I didn't want to bring you along because for this part because we've already done this. And, and yeah, so over here, we've got the Coke oven. It's got a little bit of stuff in there, and then I've got an automatic removal of... Uh, what is this creosote out of there and we've already filled it up but we need to get ready for steel production that's going to be coming up but not right now i'm not going to bring you along for it nope i'm just going to play uh because i like playing and um and there we go so in here we've got a lot of the uh, sugarcane because we need paper for one of the tools i've got an electrum slash paper hammer it's a lot cheaper to use paper than electrum because i've not been finding gold I don't know what it is. Anyway, a stone lumber axe, stone mattock, stone hatchet, stone shovel, iron pickaxe. Pretty simple to get that. We need to chuck this iron over in here. There we go. And uh, yeah, there we go. So on this one, 
we've got a ways to go before we level it up and get another um another modifier and i don't know i don't i don't really care for this hammer actually i'd like to tear it apart but i don't think we can tear it apart but we're stuck with it and i i wanted something i, I don't know i should have done something with making it unbreakable instead of of going for a high mining speed i think that's Anyway, uh, I'm not pleased with it, but we're stuck with it. And then uh, anything else? Well, I've got a portal to the mining dimension. If we go over here, I think it's always daytime. I think they got that set up. And hopefully we don't lag anything out. Yep. Looks like always daytime. No, no, sun's going down. So maybe it's tied to the overworld day cycle. And, and that's fine. But over here, you've seen these before, I bet, if you haven't. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a world for mining. It doesn't look good. It's all flat terrain right here. Maybe a few trees here and there, but overall you just dig down and go mining or set up a quarry and go mining. And that's what we'll do eventually. But right now we're still early stages. I've been doing a lot of video editing and working on the Direwolf 20 pack, but over here, uh, no, no problem. So uh, nothing automated quite yet other than some of the fluids, but I think our next order of business is the automated ore processing. So that's what I'm going to focus on next. And uh, that'll be, you know, we'll have that in place by next episode. So a few other things of note, we've got a little farm area out here, pretty simple. And then we've got a slime island right there, which led to my first death. It's one of the reasons why I poked in over here because uh, it was easiest to get away from those guys. And I just figured, you know what? We'll bloom where we're planted, and that's what we're going with. So uh, currently on the server with Lapis Lori. Oh, I guess Wolger left. Okay. Feel free to go check out the other peeps on the server in the Hypermind subreddit. Link's in the description box below. I would encourage you to do that. You'll get a whole lot more content from this server, from this mod pack, if you do that. I, again, I, I can't do uh, multiple, a lot of multiple video series going on right now. So I, I can't do a, a daily content uh, from this server. So uh, that's just going to be the name of the game right now. And, and we'll go from there. We'll see how long these various series last. But again, we are progressing to advanced rockets tree. We're going to really push for that. And I'm going to bring you along for recaps all along the way. So let's turn around here. Oh yeah, we've got, got some iron armor rock in the iron armor. Yep. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this little recap and are going to uh, uh, look forward to the future recaps when we get them for this mod pack. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, maybe some suggestions of mods that I should look at, feel free to suggest that in the comment section down below. We're going to be looking primarily uh, not really at immersive engineering. Yes, we got the Coke oven, but I'm doing immersive engineering elsewhere and I'm doing bees elsewhere. So we're going to be doing quarries. We're going to be doing... Um, high powered RF type stuff. So environmental tech, stuff like that, because advanced rocketry does take a lot of that power. So we're, we're going to have to build that up. But um, anyway, so the next recap, automated ore processing, processing most likely, and, and we'll go from there. But hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, again, well, you know what to do. That's going to be it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.